All right, so today I got some summons to do on the collab banner when I finish off summoning. And also, in the meanwhile, I'll be talking about this collab in general. It's been a few days. I've played quite a bit with the characters. Talk about what I think of the uh, collab as a whole and the characters. So, let's first, first touch on the subject of is this the worst collab ever? This is the thing that has been plaguing my comment section and Twitter. This is the worst collab ever. Yada, yada, yada. I don't think this is the worst collab ever. I am not, I'm indifferent of the IP in which we're getting. So I'm not as biased as other people that loved the anime and stuff like that. I watched it quite a bit, thought it was okay. Um, I am indifferent about the actual IP. This is not the worst collab ever. I think a lot of you are forgetting Stranger Things happened. Stranger Things dropped four characters. One was kind of a meme character that we took as a meme and like him. Jim. He has a shotgun, right? Eleven was a character that we thought was pretty good, like day one, and eventually realized she's garbage. And the other two were garbage day one. This collab has, you know, four characters as well, as it tends to be for new IPs. Now, if you compare it to, let's say, Shield Hero. Shield Hero had a free unit that was amazing. This collab is a free unit that's pretty good. Uh, if you use her, if you pull the new character, if you pull Rudy, she's, she's pretty good. Now, Kizuna was good on her own. This one needs to pull Rudy. Rudy himself is very good. And he has the potential to last a little while in the meta, depending on what we get next for Anniversary. If we get for Anniversary a human character, it would be fantastic for him, and I think there's a good chance, I think there's a, a, a real chance of the festival unit for Anniversary being a new Bond. Second Anniversary was Bond, first Anniversary was Liz, then third Anniversary was Liz again. I think there's a good chance of Bond returning for the fourth Anniversary. Uh, or if they want to be crazy and do my pick would be Chaos Arthur, but I think it's a little far-fetched. Um, I think he has chance, but I cannot be 100% on that. Now for the other characters, uh, Gislaine, I've used her quite a bit and she's pretty decent. It's so hard for me to rank a character like her because I am not in the position of most players. Because I have 13 million box CC and the most um, constellation you can get, right? Very different situation. My characters are, in, in general, just stronger than most people's. Just by existing, right? In Geared, she absolutely sucks, though. She's garbage in Geared. But no one cares about Geared anyway, no one plays Geared. So, in Ungeared, she was pretty good, I would say. You know, if you had to compare... To like, you know, the the most recent collab we got. It's really hard, like for Shield Hero, because Philo is like a different kind of character, and she's better, I think. She, Philo, you can like, if you are a whale, you can go first and one-shot the enemy team entirely. But like, and then the Reftalia was like a combo character. Roxy and Gislaine seem to be like combo characters in a way. You have the shield, then they have to attack Gislaine, and then if they don't break the shield, they get, she gets an attack buff. Roxy kind of sucks, though. I've seen uh, some players claim she's pretty good. She's the one... I can't, like, I can't rank them yet. My f final thoughts on how I think the characters perform will be on my tier list. I won't make the tier list un until I at least have the Holy Relic for Roxy, which I can't make because it's time-gated. I need to wait like three more days to make that relic because it's time gated to infinity um and then i can actually properly rank her but she's not the best and compared to like knowing that we have anniversary coming up it's really hard to make a claim for her but the characters aren't that bad collab characters in general are pretty good though it's like Again, for Shield Hero, I think a lot of people are already disregarding, like, Naofumi. 
when he is still immensely strong. It's just that no one cared about Shield Hero either. It was also an unhyped collab, so not many people summoned for now for me. Now for me is still immensely strong. It's just it's humans. Humans aren't great. Rudius might be a good combo for humans right now, and you might be able to use him. There hasn't been support for now for me since he came out essentially, so there's not many people using him. Compared to other collabs, again, I think that the examples we've got, like ReZero, ReZero we got Reinhard and Echidna, two immensely powerful characters from day one. Reinhard plagued PvP, so unbelievably strong. Same as like Terry back in the day, Terry as well, same case, right? Echidna is still super strong, and she's like still meta, but she's not annoying, which is nice. I think there is a chance, again, Rudius after this anniversary can still remain pretty decent, but even right now, I cannot tell you any of these characters are meta. They are good, except, you know, Roxy, I think she's pretty shit, but I, I don't have her relic. I need to get her relic first to then make the final claim on her, but... I don't think the Relic will make that much of a difference. If you face a good Myel team, you're going to get absolutely squashed by her. Or by them. And why are you using her, right? Same with Gislaine. If you face a good Myel team, you're, you're going to get absolutely demolished because she cannot lower his stats. She's good against melee teams. And then Roxy is bad against melee teams because if you attack, you lose the shield instantly. It is what it is. Uh, but this is the worst collab ever. Probably not. Now, should people be summoning for the banner? <sighs> it depends on what you have. Do you have a, a unknown team? You, do you have Echidna? And Festival Merlin? And Rom? And Anashi's Relic ready to use Gislaine? Because if so, it might be worth pulling her. Do you have Roxy? Uh, no, Roxy doesn't matter because she kind of sucks with Rudius. Rudius? is easier to make. And if you pull one dupe of Rudius, it's still good. Like, I think Rudius is the best character to pull from this collab. And then the rest of the banner sucks. <laughs> the the unfeatures on this banner actually suck. All right, sorry for the weird cut. Last part of the video I realized had a uh, very weird audio, so I'm going to have to voice over the other half and then remember what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, okay, so the banner. Should we probably summon you on this banner? In my opinion. I mean, if you like the the uh, IP, sure. I think Rudius is very good, and there is, there has been a I think in, like instant denial of of these characters, even by me to an extent. I try to be objective when a new character comes out and actually try them out, regardless of what I think of the actual character. I try to think of them as a unit, not as a character, and um, because no one wanted this collab, people had a different idea for what a collab should be in this day and age, right? People really wanted other stuff. Um, I think for now, on my tier list, I think Rudius will be on meta tier. Guess lane should be on sub meta. Maybe Roxy could also be sub meta with the Holy Relic. Without the Holy Relic so far, I think I'll put her even lower. Um, the Eris unit is just weird, because, like, I would say wherever in PvE Kis. Uh, what's her face? Kizuna is, should also be Eris, because they're such a similar. Like, they're such similar characters, but. They aren't really. Oh! They aren't really. Because, like, Kizuna is so broad, and you can use her. I mean, she's not that broad, because she's still limited, to an extent, but even while being limited, at least you can use whatever kind of character you want. With Eris, it's just red humans, it's so... So, even more restrictive, right? Yeah, I'm taking the Gizlane, this is the character I actually want. Um, I don't know, really, it's pretty good. I think Gizlane, the most success I found with her is Ult Rushing, and... Ult rushing with collab characters is not <laughs> ideal because okay, yeah, this banner is just amazing. 
Auto rushing with collab characters is not ideal, <clears throat> obviously, because, you know. Most of you shouldn't be popping 6-6 six, six Giz lanes in one rotation. It's just <laughs> not happening, right? So, let me know. Are you guys summoning this banner? If I had to rank collabs from like worst to best, I, di I didn't think about this. Maybe I should have made this as a list beforehand. I think people don't remember a lot of the collabs that actually happened because there have been a lot. But I, I, I think obviously the worst by far was Stranger Things. So out of nowhere. No reason why we would have got to collab with such, <laughs> such a weird mashup. This might be the second worst in terms of IP. Again, I am indifferent about the IP. Uh, I don't dislike it. I don't... I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, but I don't dislike it. I know a lot of people hate the anime. Um, I think the best... Uh, in terms of quality of characters, has to be the last re-zero, because both Reinhardt and Akidna were amazing. And like, must summon characters. Really tough. Really tough, because usually with collabs, we get like one good character and one bad character when it's a rerun. Like, Terry came with Yori. And then Rimuru came with Shunan. I mean, to an extent, Shunan's decent. But, nah, and if, I mean, obviously you were, you were summoning for Rimuru, right? You were most certainly summoning for Rimuru. Oh, that's great, machine. And then, with the shield hero, you were summoning for three characters. You were summoning for now for me, Raftalia, and Philo. And then the free character, right? So you weren't really summoning for her. With this, like, if you have... If you have a, a good Akidna, I can see you pulling for Gislaine. But most of you should be pulling for Rudeus. Everyone should have the one ultimate. If you didn't summon for the one ultimate, you're just dumb. The original KOF collab. I mean, it had good units. Kyo. Rugal was nuts when he first dropped. Mai was not good from day one, but... Athena was, like, the sleeper build. You know, no one cared about her, but, you know, her passive was kind of broad enough that she became decent for a good period of time. Original slime collab was horrible. I mean, it was in terms of... What? Bro! In terms of quality of units, obviously they were all garbage, the original slime collab. But in terms of hype, it was huge, like the original slime collab. Because slime is an IP people actually care about. I don't know. This is probably the second worst though. I think Return KOF was very unhype as well. Like, Terry was very strong. But... No one cared about KOF. <laughs> but even then, it was definitely more hype than this one. Way less hate, for sure. Stranger Things wasn't hated. People didn't- people weren't like... in awe for Shield Hero, but hate? It did not get nearly as much hate as this collab, that's for sure. Oh my god, this banner, bro. The the fe the unfeatured are garbage. They could have put at least Freyr on this banner for people. Like Yorm is such an old character and Deer is an irrelevant activity. That's why she's even in this banner. Cause they know Yorm like it, she's made for an irrelevant activity, because they're never gonna make Deer relics again. And they know this. Alright, I think my Gislane 6-6. Six, six. So I'm done. If she's 5-6, I'm also done. I'm done summoning this banner. Cloud banners are just truly awful. <laughs> they are the worst. Absolute worst. Is she? No. 5-6. That's alright. In like a month, we're gonna get the new festival unit. And her 6-6 six, six ultimate won't be able to one-shot anyways. That new team probably. 
Like, very likely. Very, very likely. It will not be able to one-shot that team. So, yeah. Not very hype, but... You know, it is what it is. Anniversary, though.